Hello everyone, uh, it's Rat from Rat Kutarot and uh, in this whole video you are about to hear the forecast in terms of love and career as well uh, for your star sign uh, for the week 7th to 13th of September 2020. As always, if you are interested in a private reading with me, uh, you can go to my website and purchase a service uh, from there. The site can be found in the description down below. And as well, um, as Tarot is about a, a knowledge and uh, you're interested into the knowledge and you want to get it from me, uh, there are eight Tarot classes available at the website as well. Currently for the upcoming week, uh, the Tarot class for the Major Arcana is going to be on a flash sale, reduced cost with a 30%, uh, dropping it from $150 to $110. So if you are interested into that, message me on my Facebook page and I'm going to provide you with a link regarding the flash sale. That being said, laid back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, a weekly general tarot reading in terms of love and career. And what the reading is going to show, guys, it is the prospects, the aspects, and the potentials that uh, you can unfold throughout the week. But if you don't like what the reading shows, by, by all means, do whatever you see fit uh, for yourself. So that being said, the first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your uh, love and relationship. And the first card we do have for that is going to be the Nine of Swords. Moving next, that is to be the Knight of Cups, followed by the Page of Pentacles. And the last one here that we do have that is going to be Justice. Well, Leo, you do have... Uh, what is the English word here? Assumptions, okay? So you do assume certain things. All of them are right, okay? Whatever you do assume, according to the reading, for one or another reason, they're pretty spot on. So, uh, but uh, if you do assume that somebody likes you, they like you. If you do assume that somebody cheats on you, they do. But these are the assumptions by the time you watch the video okay uh, if you do watch the video and I say that and you say oh my god now I do assume that my girlfriend is cheating on me that may not be true okay these are assumptions that was sticking with you for a quite a while now um, those assumptions uh, were planting certain insecurities or certain fears within you for one or another reason now you are going to stand against those fears and confront all of those assumptions throughout the week itself and bottom line here is that you're going to see that there is nothing for you to be afraid of uh, for example you may confront the fear of expressing your emotions you do express your emotions and even if you do get denied guys it's not that bad at the end of the day at least you are gonna know that it's not gonna happen and so you can move to the uh to the next thing in your life or to the next person in your life uh, but the assumptions that you may have are uh, having the well i can't sugarcoat this one so we do have the knight of cups into the second position of the spread and that card could speak for two things it speaks for either a person who is deceiving you in a sense of that they talk you they sweet talking you but and they do have its intention okay uh to keep up with those sweet talks it's just they don't know how okay so somebody for example tells you i want to be with you i love you but they don't know how for they are say in another state in another country country and they do have obligations there they don't come to you okay that's uh, just an, an example the other, uh, pretty much the other interpretation of uh, this card is that you do fall in love with the wrong guy or with the wrong girl, with the wrong person. For the Knights of Cups here into the second position points that you are not someone's dream, unfortunately, okay? And the sooner you realize that, the better probably you do have that assumption 
and now you pretty much have to make your peace with it and confronting the assumption is going to kill the fear killing the fear will allow you to pretty much move on having the page of pentacles into the third position of this particular spread it speaks for some kind of a um, very good friend of yours uh, to be uh, to be honest friends friend that it is within the friendship zone right now but also it could tra traverse into the intimate zone if you do so decide it's not going to happen throughout this week the nine of swords it's much more powerful than that card and it does look like that you first need to heal before you actually start thinking of you know moving uh moving forward with your love life in general but with the with the company of the page of pentacles that page will kind of remind you that you are bigger than that okay it will remind you that there is life even beyond confronting those uh, those assumptions and uh in generally, it's a person that will help you to confront your fears, whatever those fears are. Well, usually the Nine of Swords um, refers to the fear of being left alone. And when people are afraid of being left alone, they are afraid to speak because they think that every, every time they raise a question, their partner or their person of interest may say, that's it. Well, you should not be afraid of it because if it is... If it is what it is, then you just move along once again. And the Page of uh, Pentacles will help you um, do that. That faithful companion, very good, uh, very good friends of your, friend of yours. And we do have that awkward card once again for a relationship um, at the end. Justice. Quite a few of you um, star signs had it. And just as pretty much for relationship points that by the end of the week, the balance into one's love life, it will be restored, meaning that everybody will get whatever they deserve. If you do stay afraid, afraid you are going to remain. And if you are finding yourself, say, in an abusive relationship and you are afraid to speak for yourself, abusive relationship it is what you're going to get for a quite a while moving forward into the future. If you do express your love, your love it is what you're gonna get maybe not from the one that you are expressing it to but ultimately at the end you are to be served love from a somebody else if you will and uh, also the justice refers to that life doesn't end with uh, with love itself there are so many other ways so many other things that you can do while waiting for it so you should not abandon your entire life just for one person Unless that's your child, of course, uh, because the justice speaks for a responsibility and child, your child is your responsibility. Uh, but you should not abandon your life just because, say, uh, your love haven't been answered or somebody is treating you bad. But once again, you should just serve what they deserve, which is ignorance, severance, etc., etc., and uh, move along. So unfortunately, a bit heavy uh, reading for you, Leo, for the upcoming week. I do hope you do survive it, guys, without any permanent damage um, on your emotional state. And let's move next to your career. Right, so first one in terms of career, we do have the Eight of Cups uh, moving next. That is to be the Three of Pentacles, uh, followed by the Nine of Pentacles. And the last one, that is going to be the World card. Um, so career-wise, uh, the things are looking rather uh, good, rather great. Uh, first of all, uh, that week is going to be entirely about you and your own personal performance. Uh, it's not going to involve anybody else around or rather like you should not rely or anybody else around because having the three of pentacles into the second position of this spread pretty much points that you're not going to receive any compassion you're not going to receive any understanding whatsoever nor a help should you want it 
that itself is going to, uh, or should you need it, that itself is going to place you in a position that you may not find yourself very prepared for. Say you have relied on someone's help, um, they do have a another thing to do, um, not from an ill, how can I sell, say, an ill intentions, they may deny you the help you need and you have to tackle with the undertaking without the help you so much depended on. Now that may place you in a state of uh, despondency probably, um, where you do believe in the doom and gloom, that you are gonna fail, that nothing is gonna work out, oh my God, how I'm gonna do it. Well, believe it, believe it or not, you will actually gonna be able to handle it on your own as well. And the reading here shows that you just stray for uh, success, success is what you're gonna have, okay? Just the, the bottom line is, is that you should not give up and work with what you can, work with what you get. Don't try to, uh, my point here is for you, Leo, it is that you should not rely on specific circumstances, but you should be ready to work with whatever circumstances you are being given. And uh, that's uh, pretty much you will be able to incorporate a flawless performance for what it seems with whatever circumstances you are given, and you will be able to transform a misfortunate situation into a rather very very good prospects that are coming um that are coming forward now having the uh tree of pentacles into the uh, in the third position here uh, not the tree of pentacles but the nine of pentacles i'm sorry uh it's uh, it kind of shows a blessing in disguise uh, in a certain sense it is because that denial of help of understanding or compassion actually clears you a path for for you to make a rather jump into a future development the way i can speculate that that is to happen it is that you know say your boss expected you to be helped because they thought that you were not going to handle it by yourself that help never came you handle it by yourself and your boss kind of like amazed impressed and say okay so that guy or that girl actually is worth their while so why don't we have plans for them you know bigger plans for them a bottom line is that by the end you're gonna feel pretty pretty awesome okay that with the world at the end it seems that uh, you're gonna feel completed uh, i hate saying that expression but on the top of the world as well and ready for a new challenges and new challenges are exactly what are gonna come for you in the uh, framework of the business that you are performing into uh, challenges that you need to undertake study carefully and pretty much perform into because they are anybody that their outcome is anybody's guess and you can become even more successful and more successful and more successful those that are looking for a job uh they will have to find that job on their own if you do expect somebody to um, vacate you for you or to petition for you that may happen, but not throughout this week. This week, if you are to find a job, it will be because of your efforts, it will be because of your tenacity, it will be because of a, your skills. And there is a pretty, pretty good chance to have one. But that is only if you do rely only and specifically on yourself than anybody else. So that being said, Leo, this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading in terms of love and relationship, uh, in terms of love and career. Um, hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.